Hello, today I'm going to talk about humanitarian Wikimedia, a concept that is inspired by the humanitarian OpenStreetMap and that tries to, um, to inspire collaboration on the Wikimedia project around disasters. This is coordinated by the Wikimedians for Disaster Response and you can find the slides on this Zenodo address. The talk is structured as follows. It has five parts here um, shown in italics that are rather short and uh, then a more detailed tour and then hopefully some discussion. So the short parts are there's an overview of what Wikimedia projects are and uh, about the types of um, materials that they cover that have a relationship to disasters. Then uh, there are two visualizations uh, that are proposed uh, ways to explore uh, the world of disasters by geography and type of disaster and here by a uh, timeline of wars. Then the main tour will be around uh, all the different Wikimedia projects and uh, some disaster related uh, materials in them. Uh, finally we will take a look at uh, existing interactions between Wikimedia and OSM and then hopefully there will be some discussion. So, uh, the Wikimedia projects, they're roughly organized by information channel. So, uh, Wikipedia is the encyclopedia and Wikibox is for books and so on. And I've arranged them here, or I've reused an arrangement uh, where they are um, basically all complete. And this is uh, clockwise. Let's start at Wikipedia and then uh, go from there. So Wikipedia exists in 325 languages, it's the encyclopedia, and we have Wikimania for the annual gathering, Wikibooks, 120 languages for books, Meta is for discussions that concern more than one of those wikis, um, and so it has, it's just one wiki, uh, but uh, can handle multiple languages, Wikiquote exists in 89 languages, it's for quotes, Wikispecies for biological species, MediaWiki is the software that runs all of these, Incubator is for breeding new projects that might eventually end up in one of them or as one of the new ones. Um, Wikidata is a database that anyone can edit. Also multilingual, all these uh, platforms here. Wikivoyage exists in 24 languages. A travel guide, Wikiversity, and learning environment in 17 languages. Victionary, uh, a dictionary, uh, an electronic dictionary in 183 languages. Wikinews, a news site in 34 languages. Wikisource, a text archive in 74 languages, and Wikimedia Commons, which is a media repository. In the middle here, you have the Wikimedia logo, which can stand either for the Wikimedia Foundation or Wikimedia Affiliates or the Wikimedia community more broadly. Altogether, this makes up a thousand wikis, roughly. So each of these has their own information channel and uh, the uh, disaster-related matters then follow the kind of information available through that channel. So in Wikipedia, you might have articles about disasters, about disaster types, about the effects that the disasters have on uh, mitig disaster mitigation and managing management measures, on disaster preparedness, and so on. Um, on Wikimania, you might have events that discuss all of this, or um, there might be a, a mapathon, or because some OSMers are present. Um, then in Wikibooks you can find books and so on. And um, the Wikimedia community is organizing um, the, the content here and is coordinating. And for this, there is a community group called the Wikimedians for Disaster Response. Now, here is one example of visualization of uh, disaster related data from Wikidata. Um, it shows disasters that are known to Wikidata on a map by geolocation and also by disaster type. So quite prominently visible are the earthquakes here. And depending on uh, which disasters you're interested in or which uh, regions you're interested in, you can then explore this map. Uh, basically click on any of the individual dots or um, click away any of those um, kinds of disasters here. And this works uh, in a self-guided uh, manner. And so I would just like to recommend it to you uh, but I'll not um, go deeper. In a similar fashion, uh, this timeline here of wars uh, that humanity has engaged in uh, can be explored in a self-guided fashion 
and uh, you just need to follow the link and then zoom into uh, this visualization and uh, click your way through uh, to the images or Wikipedia articles around those particular wars. Um, what is less easy to do in a self-guided fashion is uh, figure out um, where the disaster related content sits in all these different projects and what kinds of uh, materials these might be and so this is the tool we're now going to do together we will start at uh, the top this time with Wikimania uh, and still go clockwise so uh, Wikimania itself was affected by the disaster like many other events and so um, it was cancelled last year then turned into a virtual event in 2021 at Wikimanias, you often also have some disaster-related activities. So for instance, here is a disaster response meetup from 2018. And then um, at that meetup, uh, activities were also discussed, like uh, curating the information on the, uh, by the way of some maps of the kind you just saw. Then here, uh, there was a, an edit-a-thon uh, to commemorate um, a major earthquake in Mexico or here a humanitarian OpenStreetMap event uh, organized by Wikimedia in Indonesia. In Wikibooks you find uh, materials related to the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, to earthquakes in Thai, and here also uh, in English uh, how to, uh, or what measures to take when an earthquake occurs. Um, on Meta you have all sorts of things that concern more than one of those wikis, including, for instance, uh, a discussion of changes to the Wikipedia app that also uses some examples involving an earthquake or a cyclone. And there is also um, some coordination around um, preserving cultural heritage. So here we have an example of a, a cultural heritage site in Nepal that was affected by the 2015 earthquakes. And of course, uh, COVID is also on Meta. Um, Wikiquote has collections of quotes related uh, to the indicated mid, um, like keywords. So um, Polish word for disaster. So you get Polish disaster related quotes. Um, English ones for storm or disease X, which is a term that the World Health Organization has coined in order to describe emerging uh, diseases, uh, basically that are due to an unknown pathogen like the SARS-CoV-2 virus was uh, when this pandemic started. In Wikispecies you have information about uh, species like uh, this virus for instance, but also about uh, some interactions that the species or uh, their specimens might have had with a disaster. So for instance for this species here, um, the actual specimen, the original specimen, was lost in the San Francisco earthquake in 1906. MediaWiki is the software that runs all of these wikis and also the OpenStreetMap wiki. And there is a community of developers. They normally have uh, regular meetups and they have all gone virtual in the last almost two years now. The incubator. Um, which breeds things that go into this uh, ecosystem eventually. Um, also has um, some articles, for instance, uh, an earthquake in August, or uh, here is, uh, and this is in Ladino, uh, which doesn't have its Wikipedia yet. And here is Igbo um, in about a hurricane. Um, and then here, Wikidata, the database that anyone can edit, um, another hurricane um, and with the information exposed in Spanish and the wildfire with the information exposed in English, uh, a number of visualizations related to the uh, SARS-CoV-2 virus, the COVID-19 um, disease and then the COVID-19 pandemic and uh, different entities that relate to these. And then here, are certain visualizations of the scholarly literature about COVID-19. And this is coordinated by Wikiproject COVID-19. Then on Wikivoyage, uh, the Chinese uh, version, for instance, has an entry about a tsunami and how this affects um, travel. 
or, or what um, precautions to take or which areas are most affected, these kind of things. On the German Wiki Voyage, you can find, for example, um, information about Chelyabinsk and um, the meteorites that came down nearby in 2013 and um, they can they provide you with information about um, the museum in which you can see some of the pieces that have been re recovered from the meteorite. And here is the Turkish Wiki Voyage with uh, more information about the pandemic. Um, Wikiversity also has uh, entries about the pandemic here in Arabic and here is a German entry um, on disaster management uh, which for instance has a classification of disasters like floods uh, or droughts or um, the disappearance of large bodies of water. Then dictionary, um, for instance the entries uh, for um, nuclear accident in Dutch or for tsunami in Spanish, or for ship sinking in Breton. Um, then Wikinews with articles about follow-ups to the Fukushima nuclear disaster in Japan, or about a tornado in the United States, or here in, in Dutch, uh, or here in Czech about the uh, fire uh, of the um, National Museum in Brazil. Um, this is again a case of not, uh, cultural heritage where the Wikimedia community has tried to help a lot with uh, collecting, categorizing, curating information related to the muse museum's materials and to those, especially to those that have been lost. In Wikisource um, we can find things like um, newspaper entries from 1907 about an earthquake or from 1843 uh, about an earthquake in Guadeloupe. Um, and also um, policy documents that relate to the pandemic, for instance. Uh, on Wikimedia Commons we can find uh, cartoons of various sorts here in Bengali and in Swahili um, to explain hygienic measures to uh, take during the pandemic. Um, here is a tsunami in Lisbon, a historic depiction. Um, here's a um, tsunami stone from Japan, an earthquake museum, and then just all sorts of signs, including uh, signs that tell people to give way to first responders. Um, last but not least in our tour here, we now at back at Wikipedia, um, Bengali Wikipedia with an entry about uh, tornadoes and uh, Arabic Wikipedia uh, with crisis mapping. And uh, then I've chosen two wiki projects from the English Wikipedia as examples of how um, people coordinate. So here's Wiki Project Medicine, which has a translation task force that uh, covered the Ebola pandemic in Western Central Africa in, uh, and it did so by basically improving the English article then um, especially the introductory part then translating that introductory part in the languages of the people who were actually affected with the disease. Uh, and Wiki Project Disaster Management um, does not only deal with individual disasters, but also with the theoretical background information, like what kinds of disasters there are, how you can mitigate them, uh, how you can prepare, um, how one can respond and recover, uh, what kind of hazards are there, and then also entries about individual disasters. There are other contexts in which Wikimedians interact with um, disasters. So, for instance, they document cases uh, where humanitarian help has occurred. Here, uh, Australia has, has donated a fire truck to Samoa after uh, a disaster. Here is a um, documentation of the countries that have um, provided humanitarian support to Japan after the 2011 earthquake. Um, this information is compiled on Wikimedia Commons based on lots of different sources. Um, but Wikimedia projects are also big reusers of existing information. So here's an image taken out of a scholarly article that describes <coughs> how uh, humanitarian mapping has evolved in OpenStreetMap. 
um, including uh, with the uh, emergence of different organizations like the Humanitarian OpenStreetMap team. <coughs> then uh, the community is uh, concerned a lot with uh, references and that uh, especially reliable references that can be used to support all the information across the Wikimedia ecosystem. And uh, it also um, has various mechanisms to identify misinformation, fake news, um, and um, <clears throat> yeah, tries to uh, avoid them or at least uh, highlight them as what they are. Um, here is a, a tool that we call Internet in a Box, which is a Raspberry Pi that uh, has a snapshot of uh, Wikipedia and also of OpenStreetMap. And if you provide it with electricity, it can serve as a local Wi-Fi hotspot that does not need connection to the broader internet. And uh, then, yeah, also just a bug tracker of Wikipedia has a channel um, for things that are related to the pandemic. Now, uh, the tour um, uh, is uh, finished. I would just like to uh, outline some interactions that already exist between Wikimedia and the OpenStreetMap system. So for instance, here you have a Wikidata query uh, for tasks in the Open Hot OSM Tasking Manager. Um, and it does uh, the same as before. It looks for the geolocation and uh, for the classification of those things for which the tasks exist. And you see this is very incomplete, but uh, at least it gives uh, some early indication. <coughs> And uh, then mo uh, more complete is the information on Wikimedia Commons about OpenStreetMap related uh, things. So for instance, you see here 21 categories of OpenStreetMap maps and so on. Um, and then here there is an initiative on the OpenStreetMap Wiki, the Wikipedia Link Improvement Project, which tries to uh, improve the interlinking between Wikimedia projects on the one hand and OpenStreetMap on the other hand, especially Wikipedia and Wikidata. And this makes use of um, queries to the Wikidata query service and to a related service called Sofox that can also query OSM um, and uh, supports automation. But since it does support automation, um, it comes with a big red warning here because if you just jump into it and make use of the automation uh, without knowing the details of uh, what you're editing, then uh, this uh, can become a problem in terms of data quality on either the OSM or on the Wikimedia end. Another interaction here is that at this very Humanitarian OpenStreetMap Summit 2021, there is another session uh, involving uh, Wikimedia prominently, it is by Dennis Raylin Chen, uh, scheduled about 12 hours earlier than this one. And it is about collaboration of the Taiwan government with OpenStreetMap and uh, Wikidata. And uh, the collaboration was around river data from Taiwan. <clears throat> with that, I would like to um, thank uh, the communities that were involved in creating the information that I've presented and also um, individuals and uh, I would like to point you to uh, two um, references that allow you to dig deeper. We have a paper about um, COVID-19 information in Wikidata and in Wikipedia. <coughs> And yeah, the slides are here and here's some contact information. Now I'm looking forward to the discussion. Thank you very much.